Yo, what's up? Name is Jetly. I want to welcome back to more custom robo. As last episode, we took out three of the robot trainers. So I'm take out the fourth and final one. You should take caution to prevent your robo from being knocked down. If you receive a powerful attack or a repeated attack in a short period of time, your robo will overload. When it overloads, it is knocked down and vulnerable to attacks for a short time. However, you will be invincible for a short while after you get up while your robo systems reboot. If you tap the buttons quickly, your robo will rise more rapidly. Did you understand that? Got it. Good, let's start the battle. Yippee. It's time to fight. Now here we have another trick flyer with a dolphin pod. His is colored red though, he's special. <laughs> I don't know. Here's hoping we do better than we did against the last one. I probably should have switched back to Ray because Ray has more uh, defense probably. Start spamming A. It's gonna be a button mash battle. Downed him. A good amount, that's a good amount of HP for opening when it's not my signature style. Ow, I blew myself up. What the heck? Ow, get up! I'm doing bad. Dance around. Ow. I'm on. Gotta get tactical. I don't want to get... I don't want to get defeated ever again in this game. Because I'm actually pretty good. This is like one of the few games that I'm good at. Like in all of life. So I don't want to do bad on camera for one of the games that I like. And what? He knocked me down. Idiot. Get on! Yeah, I love this bomb. I'm, I think I'm going to keep using this bomb until I get like a straight bomb version of S. Because that stun is OP, man. Like, you don't know OP until you've got a stun weapon. A stun explosive area effect weapon. That's just like, yes. So much yes. And unlike flashbangs from like Call of Duty, it does damage. So now you have access to the cock. So we only got bombs and pods, and a robo. No guns, no legs, that sucks. But yeah, expertly done. I look forward to challenging your skills again soon. Why am I trying to give the robots a British accent? Whatever. Now saving. Data has been saved. That's another one of the few things I don't like about this game, is you can't just save yourself. It's all auto-saves, but... Ah, oh, the phone. Who could it be, even though I didn't hear it ringing? It probably is ringing. And that's gotta suck. Look, he, like, recoiled from the phone, because it's Ernest. Jet, where's Harry? That idiot turned off his cell phone again. Tell Harry to call me back right now, got it? Fine, fine. Jeez. Harry, turn your phone on. Harry? Oh. He's sitting there talking to the clerk girl, whatever. Let's grab our weapons. You got a Gemini bomb. And a cockroach pod. And I believe the cockroach moves slowly but slightly homes in on your opponent and Gemini bombs explode behind and in front of your opponent. So you can sit there and trap them. But anyways, let's talk to Harry. Come on, what's your phone number? Ha, huh, you want my uh, number? That was terrible. Sophie, she actually has a name. Oh, quit fooling around. How about a date? Come on. Huh, what is it yet? Ernest wants me to call him back. Oh man, I was totally gonna get her number. No, you weren't, doofus. Jeez. Yeah, Harry here. What's up? I'm kind of busy right now. <laughs> it's random letters. <laughs> I was not expecting that. It's just random letters. Let's see. Triangle, star, circle, T. Uh, something I don't know. Star, X. Triangle, circle, exclamation point. Symbol I don't know. Upside down, A. Another symbol I don't know. E like... Equal sign combined with division, double circle, upside down triangle, percentage sign, small zero, double exclamation point. Do you have to use language like that, Chief? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I think he was swearing at him. <laughs> but that, it was funnier to say it as the letters. Hey, Jet, we've got work. See ya, Sophie. Let's go on a date next time. Aw, oh, you gotta go. What a shame. Good luck with the work, Harry. Woohoo! You better believe it. Believe it. I'm Naruto. He's even blonde. 
Okay, Jet, let's go. I'm all hyped up. Following Harry. Get used to it. Stop saying get used to it. We're heading for Hub Park. Hub Park? Yeah, you know the park with all the roads circling around it? The one over there whose name just appeared. The chief said something about a couple of young punks duking it out with their robos. Give us, or guess some girl called us up, asked us to make them stop. Huh, sounds messy. We should get moving. You're right, let's go. Oh, I thought we were controlling them because they were moving fast, but nope, Harry, Harry is actually sprinting for once. It's a miracle. There they are. wonder what they're fighting about. So now we have two random guys. Let's talk to the chick. Lady, you called us. What's up? And her name is Mary. I'm the one who called you, Heart. You silly boys are fighting over me because I'm so cute, Heart. Well, I mean, I guess I did tell them I'd go out with them on the same day and time, Heart. But I didn't know which one to cancel, so I thought I'd just come out and see what happened. And while I was waiting, they saw each other and they started fighting over me, Heart. Well, what did you expect? <laughs> Harry's as, uh, what's it called, skeptical about this as I am. Harry, Harry, Harry. Anyways. So anyways, I'm like freaking out here. I called the police, but they said they didn't have enough men. I think you've got more than enough men already. <laughs> Harry, 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 you sarcastic bastard. I'm going to enjoy this game so much just because the main character and Harry are so sarcastic, and so am I. But I'm not worried at all now that you're here, Hart. And so I'm going to go home, okay? I'll leave the rest up to you, Hart. And she swaggers off. Hey, she left, but what about her dates? They're so mad at each other, they haven't even noticed that she dumped them. Oh, well, let's face them in one-on-one. -on -one. Try to chill them out a little. Jet, I'll pick a guy. You handle the other. Let's see, we've got the redhead or Fabio McFancy hair. Um, Fabio McFancy hair. You there. Thomas. What, you want some of this, huh, do you? Now, I'm going to get kind of specific here on combat techniques. Long you hold the A button, high you jump, tap the A button to do a short jump. You should try it out. Got it? Got it. Don't got it. Are you still talking? Yeah, he's still talking. And yeah, we still got it. Just do whatever you can to beat him. Fabio McFancy hair. Let's see what you got. That's one of the most ridiculous names I think I'll ever come up with in my entire Let's Playing. Just the entire thing of Let's Playing. Yeah, start battling. I forgot to take off my trick flyer, but I actually do enjoy the trick flyer until we get javelin. As soon as we get my precious javelin, I'm never going to use anything else because Strike Vanisher is OP. Fire, fire, fire. Hit him. I shall rain destruction upon your family. What? I guess it's because I called him Fabio. I was sitting here thinking of randomly of Romeo and Juliet, and he's actually doing really badly. You're doing worse than the AI at the training center. You're worse than the noob teachers. You're worse than the tutorial. That ought to say something. That ought to tell you something. Of course, I am playing better now because I actually figured out what I need to do to be able to do well. Pouring on the damage. Uh-oh, I went into first person. Yeah, if you tap up on the C-stick, you'll go into first person. Oh, he just narrowly avoided dying. You're dead. I win. But yeah, if you tap up on the C-stick, you can go into first person, and then you can hit down on the C-stick to uh, back out of it. So this that's one of the reasons this game just, like, bounces all around all the genres. And we got legs now. We got the pod and the long thrust legs. Long thrust legs are good, but we don't have a strike vanisher to put them on. So, yeah. Good grief. I'm Charlie Brown. Let's get out of here. And the dude, like, combat rolls behind him, and Fabio Fancy Hair gets up. Harry, behind you! Rawr, I'm going to act menacing. And Harry's just like, dude, you look so stupid. Anthony, y you'll pay for this! And they both run off. Thanks, Marcia, you saved me. Don't mention it. Oh, you must be Jet. Our new partner, right? Our Marcia. Y yeah, that's me. I just started. Today's my first day. Oh, um, well, I have a Class B license, Jet. Say, Jet, what's your license class? License was that? Who knows? I don't know. License was that? <laughs> was that? That's funny. What? You you don't have a license? He's an amateur. Of course he ain't got no license. Ain't got no? Dude, you're from Texas too. High five. No? Okay. Fine. 
But if you're a bounty hunter and you don't have a license, you can get arrested. Oh, that's right, I forget. Harry, how could you forget something like that? You know, that's why nobody got, has any respect for the Steelhearts. Forgetting stuff like that. Oh, give me a break. It just slipped my mind. Well, okay, we got a problem. Let's head back to the office. Uh, whoopsies. Hub Park, and we're in the lead. It's Crow... Body follow the hero. Dun 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 dun. We're not running from a boulder, so that doesn't fit. Okay, this time I'm betting he's gonna slam the table. And I'll bet you it's gonna be when Harry says, oh, I don't have a license. A license? Oh, yeah, that. I guess that's not such a bad idea. But licenses cost money. Money we don't have. Yeah, but no matter how good you are, if you don't have a license, they'll arrest you. Well, that's your own business. It's not my fault if you guys get taken in by the cops. You're such a good boss, aren't you? I could have sworn that the law places full responsibility on the employer of a robo-commander. Slam table! There we go. I got the bet right this time. What? Seriously? Ugh, alright then. Harry, I want you to take him to get his license tomorrow. What? Me again? Well, okay. You shouldn't have a problem getting a Class D license. Class D, what's that? Sounds like a hassle. Sure, no problem. Class D, what's that? They look panicked. Right, well, let me explain it. If you work as a bounty hunter, you need a license. The license ranks go from D to A, but if you don't have one, you can't work. Plus, if you want to join the police squad, they say you need a Class A license. But seeing how you did it yesterday, it didn't seem like Class A fighting to me. Don't say that. Taking a test and fighting an actual battle are totally different. Anyways, you take that Class D license test tomorrow. If you don't pass, Linda's reward is out the window. That's not to mention that I'll get arrested. Listen, Harry, you've, uh, you've absolutely got to make sure that he passes. That's impossible. What do you want a simple assistant like me to do? Stop complaining. I don't want you to come back until Jet passes. Which reminds me, you're a Class D too. Why don't you take the Class C while you're there? No way. Who do you think you're kidding? As long as I'm in the business, a Class D license is plenty. Hey, isn't it about time you took the Class A test? How many times have you tried? Class A expenses are too high, and with my salary, I can't afford it. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there crying with the hilarious anime face. This is so good. This game is hilarious. I love it. And Harry's just like, scalp palm. This isn't good. Um, everyone's worked hard today. You can all go home. Turn around, back it up. Into the door. You never get to go back there. He left. <laughs> you should go home too. Just head straight to that test hall. The place is called the Custom Robo Department of Licensing. Jet, don't let anyone making fun of you. Don't let anyone make fun of you for being a steel heart. Yeah, I won't. By the way, any tips on the test? And I double tapped on accident. Whoopsies. Any tips? Uh, any tips on how to pass the test tomorrow? As long as you don't oversleep, you'll be fine. Goodbye. Hold up. We always oversleep. She doesn't beat around the bush. Yeah, she's serious and straightforward. Harry's the Joker. Marcia is the serious one, and Ernest yells a lot. Welcome to Custom Robo. Steal hearts for life. Jet, make sure you come straight to the testing hall tomorrow. It's right next to the training gym. Okay, we're done for today. What are you doing after this? Uh, I'm, I'm going home. The only, reason, only thing you can do here is check the parts machine, but we have one in our house. But anyways, I'm tired, so I'm going home. See you tomorrow. Yeah, don't be late tomorrow. See ya. Oh, wow, this is going on for a while. I didn't even realize it. I just wanted to do a short episode. But anyways, data has been saved. So, this has been Jutland 1, and I shall see you next time as we wake up in the morning. Looking like P. Diddy, getting yelled at by our landlord. I don't know the rest of the words to TikTok, so I was going to sing that, but no. See you next time.